Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending which part of the world you're from, and welcome to another episode of Atheism, Agnosticism, Worldview. Is it true or is it false? Is the Christian worldview the true answer? especially when we're talking about the origin of the universe and most importantly of all is the source of mankind and actually we were having a really good chat about this uh, earlier about us as humans um, which i think will be quite a good uh, segue to kick off this evening's uh session and just before i quickly do that um i've got to do a little few other bits i'm going to add a little stream if i remember where to where to do it i'll do that in a second but in the meantime i will also quickly say hi to i see max is there i'll add you to the stage max so welcome welcome to tonight's stream i hope you're well hello ray how are you i'm good I'm good i'm well thank you and uh welcome to yeah welcome to the show and uh great to see you um I was going to first quickly ask um, from from last week. Uh, had you spent any time uh, um, considering anything or any thoughts from last week? Yes, Burning yes. So, yeah, basically, um, what story Arul told me, I was not convinced uh, that that is true. So it's hard for me to believe uh, there's God. And uh, what you said that we can't give evidence of God but we believe we have faith right but that that's fine having faith is fine uh but i am more of a more of a evidence physical evidence guy so i i don't i still don't i'm not convinced that there's god because the evidence was not there but i have questions about christianity today like i i i can debate about existence of god but i'm going to set that aside and i'll assume that there is a god I won't even argue which God is true. Is Allah the the true God or is Jesus the true God? I'll assume that Jesus is true God. Okay. So I have a few questions written. Uh, is it okay if I ask questions about Christianity? <clears throat> yeah, sure. Um, just before you do that, I wanted to quickly qualify something you mentioned this, uh, um, Max, so that we are, we're on the same page and uh, not misunderstanding each other. Uh, we are not saying that our belief is purely as a kind of faith-based belief. It is based on some very significant evidence. In fact, one of the most, uh, for us, convincing elements of our faith is on the actual belief and evidence of the uh, life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And... Um, I don't know if you remember, but uh, our brother Al um, did kindly go over uh, uh, the different uh, resurrection piece of the life of Christ um, as very strong, uh, undispu indisputable evidence, which is, you know, so what I'm saying here is just so we get this clear. It's we have faith in some things, of course. There's elements that we uh, trust and elements I'm sure the Lord will reveal. But there are things that are absolutely indisputable, especially the, the life, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is an absolute based on indisputable evidence that we believe uh, are in place. And we did share that with you. And that can obviously I don't know if you've had time to do any research on uh, on that at all. No, I thought about it, but I had a few questions re regarding resurrection of Jesus and uh, uh, other other questions about Christianity. So uh, I thought I'll ask you rather than... Um, okay. Uh, okay. So about the resurrection, how many people died when they, sa when they said that we have saw, we, we have seen Jesus? How many people died because of that? I'm not quite sure what you mean. Um, so I mean, I mean they, people people were dying because they were saying that they saw Jesus resurrected, right? Isn't isn't that what happened? Well, it, it depends exactly what you mean. So certainly, what we would say is that the people that believed in Christ, the apostles, the people that were close to Christ, 
they saw the resurrection of Christ, or in other words, they saw the bodily uh, uh, Christ uh, after his death and, as evidence that clearly showed he came to life and therefore must have been resurrected. Okay. Um, okay. They were they were martyred, men, and they, even though they were martyred and they were um, threatened with death because of their claims that Jesus is alive, um, what was part of the the evidence there is that they didn't uh, renate their belief, but they stayed firm because they were so convinced that they even gave, gave up their lives, sacrificed their life through that belief. So they had opportunities where if they wasn't true, they could have denied it and saved their lives, but they didn't, which is very strong evidence as well, additional evidence. But, yeah, this is this is what I'm asking. How many sac how many people sacrifice their life trying to prove that they saw Jesus? Yeah, this is my question. I don't know precise numbers. Um, any any approximate? You don't have to be precise. Any? I, I don't. I don't actually know. I don't know. How old do you um, know? <laughs> yeah. So essentially, Max, if you uh, if you study the uh, Roman history, um, Ro uh, the Roman Empire was involved in mass scale persecution beginning from the first century going on up to the fourth century and the primary group who were targets in this persecution were Christians primary group uh, we have records his uh, credible very top-notch historians testifying of this persecution, uh, Roman historians Tacitus, Suetonius, Pliny the Younger, all qualified historians of that period testify of this mass scale persecution. It's okay, a, it's a, it's a, it's a well known um, Roman history. Please go on. No, Arul, Arul, I understand. But if, let's say, if one guy sacrificed his life trying to prove he saw Jesus. We can't take take him seriously one case. We can't take one case seriously because he might be delusional. This is why I'm asking how many people actually died. Did you, even Max, though... did you hear what I was saying? Did you hear what I yeah, was but, saying? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I did hear. Well, what did Romans you hear? were persecuting I, did people. You... Romans were persecuting hear... mass murdering Christians. Romans were mass murdering Christians, but that doesn't prove God was resurrected. That doesn't prove that. Max, I'm asking how Max, many people were Max, ready to die and actually died. Yeah. Max, <laughs> what, what you are rather doing is demonstrating your thorough lack of knowledge in relation to Roman history. I can repeat right now. Roman Empire spread around a vast majority of the world at that time. Not as big as British Empire but still large enough and roman empire have you have you heard of this uh, thing called uh, gladiator have you seen that movie gladiator yes yes yeah um by the way one of the primary groups which became victims in that gladio gladiatorial sport slash entertainment were christians it's a fact of history now, I'm not asking how many Christians died in the past. I'm asking some Christians saw Jesus resurrect and they sacrificed their life because uh, they were threatened. If you tell you saw Jesus, we'll kill you. If you tell everyone you saw Jesus resurrect, we'll kill you. So I'm asking how many of those specific people who saw Jesus resurrected okay. actually died because of that specific reason? It's not a trick sure. question. It's not a trick question, but you're not listening, is I guess, or you maybe you're not aware aware of the background. One, sweetie, one second, sweetie, ma. You're not aware of the context, and therefore, I think I think even though I'm making an important point, I, I think you're not holding on. You first century is when Jesus lived. We both are on okay. the same page. Yep. It's yep. the very century when the Lord lived. Yep. Okay. You know the uh, maybe I'll, I'll I'll maybe I'll start from um, kindergarten level, and you know. Um, go upwards. Um, are you aware of the fact that the that Jesus had twelve disciples, twelve apostles? 
no i have I you heard of that idea okay no, no, no. so jesus had many thousands you know who heard him but 12 of them were appointed as official emissaries by him. they were official representatives of jesus 12 appointed even during the time of jesus christ uh-huh. only one of them died a natural death the remaining 11 uh-huh. the remaining 11 died prematurely because of Christ, uh, persecution um uh, targeted towards christians some mm-hmm. of them died in rome in rome mm-hmm. bear in mind even jesus was put on the cross by the roman authorities we mentioned that already mm-hmm. uh, but by the time it got to the apostles i.e. the next level they were some of the apostles were even dragged you know when i said dragged mm. metaphorically speaking to rome to eventually die there uh, that's the original 12 jesus also had a few other apostles added uh, representatives added after that again them to similar sort of premature death uh, this is this is the beginning uh, soon after this happened essentially things happened in in judea what was supposed to be the home country of jesus which is called judea mass mm-hmm. persecution to an extent the entire the, the 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 roman emperor had mobilized an army uh-huh. an army to go and take over jerusalem um rome always had trouble with judea the jews mm-hmm. always had trouble uh, which went you know for a couple of centuries before even the time of jesus christ you should read uh, uh, things uh, such as maccabean revolt and um, b- that sort of stuff but uh, but after but but even during the time of jesus christ they had essentially they until that time they were trying to have local rule with roman representatives governing but local autonomy but after the time of jesus after the apostles began to be persecuted rome mm-hmm. had had enough and they mm-hmm. sent an army to take over jerusalem um it's okay. a you might have seen uh, ad 70 is a significant year in the in the history of the um, nation of israel ad 70 was mm-hmm. when jerusalem was uh, sort of destroyed uh, brought to the ground uh the temple in jerusalem which is a tr- significant um uh, archaeological feature for the jews um it's like let's say the taj mahal of india sort of stuff you know uh, was uh-huh. was brought to uh, brought to the ground very little remained of it ad 70 okay. very significant time um and even, and there were two or three significant revolts from the jews all mm-hmm. of these happened because of the christian movement because the non christian jews were an involved in anything they didn't trigger anything but it was the christian move that went all the way to rome that rome got alerted that they mobilized these things uh, to happen in israel okay. so 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 you, you, you can read about this you can read about the jewish roman um the wars of the first century okay uh, so i have a question well, one say let me finish because you you were yeah. where and where i'm, I'm sure, trying sure. to now expand on what i said no, earlier no, i get it i get it i get it you know you don't get it let me let me finish let me finish <laughs> please yes yeah, sure. because sure. otherwise um, yeah, clearly you didn't yeah, yeah, get sure, what sure. i was saying earlier now, now i need sure, to connect sure. this what began with jesus and soon after jesus when the romans were deeply involved slowly snowballed initially it took the shape of um taking over israel israel lost land in 78 uh, not 78 uh, jews were still there but local autonomy was lost um eventually uh, in a couple of decades from that time and local autonomy israel beca- be- became israel again only in 1948 this is mm-hmm. well established history in is- in the case of israel okay. this is why you have the palestinian conflict by the way at the moment um now uh, to 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 now add just one more layer to this mm-hmm. what began after the lord jesus christ in the case of the apostles locally and went all the way to rome snowballed to an extent 
mm-hmm. persecution was like a vicious cycle that went for 3 centuries mm-hmm. um well documented i have written a book brother sai has written a book uh, in two different uh, uh, ways well documented to an extent all relevant roman historians of the first century testify this is okay, as so so, I, so, I so that's what it. we're talking about three centuries of persecution which clearly involved those who visually saw jesus also but not just the ones who visually saw but also those who were resident there even if they hadn't seen jesus visually they could have mm-hmm. explored the empty tomb and all those things so sort of the second tier of witnessing okay. which would have been thousands of people okay. uh, living at uh, living in jerusalem at that time i get it so, i get it yeah so basically you are saying that uh, some people saw jesus and some people didn't see jesus but roman empire was persecuting almost everyone so we don't have you don't have any estimate estimates of how many people died because of watching jesus is that what you're saying i i never use those words where do you get those okay, so words my question is my question is my question is how should i believe that someone saw jesus they could be lying what i'm saying is how can i believe look that max 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 yeah. max max one second first please try and understand the case before rejecting it from what i see you're struggling to understand the facts first you presented a caricature of what i said and i said i never said that and then you're rather quickly running to a question challenging please don't do that try and understand the facts first and then come to an informed judgment what are the facts, what are the facts? The okay sorry that you told last time did you hear what i said last 10 uh, f- uh, 10 minutes maybe did you hear yeah, that I or did. not roman 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 empire was uh, persecuting uh, christians and the christian mo- movement that started after jesus died for about uh, they started persecuting uh, around 70 ad and it went on for 3 centuries and they killed a lot of christians this is what you said yeah how many you are you said that i said there is no estimate how, how many uh can you roughly do you roughly know about the nation of israel in the first century a few million i don't know because i asked you how many people know, died know, because know. because they saw jesus you're not answering that you're telling me everything except one number how many people died okay if you want a rough number jesus. millions are you happy now thank you thank you thank you now now my next question is uh just a second so Is God or Son of God? Sorry, what was that, Max? Is Jesus Son of God or is He God? Like, what's the concept? Because, Max, well, because please in... follow up on the previous question. I don't know. Please make. I don't know why. Why this clarification? Okay, okay, okay. we can now. ignore this. So I'll follow up on the previous question. Why did Jesus not show up? why didn't he see um why didn't he come and save those millions of people because they died because of him if jesus showed himself people wouldn't have died because they were telling the truth why are you saying, here max why are you here today i want to know why jesus did, didn't save the millions of people who were saying we saw jesus like jesus could have saved them why is jesus hiding after resurrection if jesus was freely moving in the society before the crucifixion why is he hiding after crucifixion after resurrection my question is if jesus really resurrected what's the point of hiding this Sorry. is my question and and if basically he could have saved millions of people just by showing himself that's that's my question so i just want to jump in on that uh just a quick comment um are you trying to tell me that uh in order to believe you have to be there yourself instead of trusting the eyewitness who is testifying about can lie. what he, uh, can i speak please yes, right. Right. right there's a problem here you have the same problem apparently that thomas had 
Thomas was an early disciple, actually an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ in AD 30. Now, when the other 10 apostles had seen King Jesus just back after his resurrection from the dead, Thomas said, I don't believe you, Ted. Why? Because I haven't seen him. Okay? So Thomas had to wait eight days before the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to Thomas and said, Thomas, here I am. And Thomas was shocked because his doubts were, un were not valid. He could actually see the scars of the nails in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, which he had demanded as evidence to prove that this was the same individual who had been crucified three days before. So Thomas said, my Lord and my God. So you have a question about why is Jesus called the Son of God, uh, not just God, where Thomas answered that question straight away. Remember, Thomas was a Jew. Jews only believe in one God, the Creator, and yet Thomas addresses the Lord Jesus Christ after his resurrection as my, my Lord God. And the Lord Jesus does not tell Thomas, don't say that to me. He accepts what Thomas says. He agrees. Yes, I am God. Okay? The phrase, the Son of God, simply means God who comes in the flesh. It's God who comes to the earth. He is seen by people, uh, ministered unto by angels, and the apostles are, de are the demonstrable eyewitnesses. This is very important. We're talking about people who saw him. And those people then went and testified to the rest of the world what they had seen. Now, the rest of the world, like you, like me, in the 21st century, they have to believe either those 10 disciples were liars, were lunatics, or telling the truth. You got only three choices. Yeah, I, so if I, they're so liars. Yeah, thank you for explaining me that. So I'll I'll tell you tell you why I am doubting those ten people. Okay, let me let me put my case. Why I am emphasizing on those people. So if if someone told me that Donald Trump died, and now ten or maybe hundreds of people are telling me that he is resurrected, right? I it would be hard for me to believe, because resurrection is an unnatural event okay now in case of jesus the moment you say jesus resurrected then i have to believe that god created the universe then i have to believe there is a hell and a heaven there are three and four supernatural events that i have to believe just because 10 people told me they saw jesus resurrect now my case here is there are there are there are a lot of people on YouTube giving testimonies that they have seen UFOs and aliens and they have abducted they have been abducted by aliens. I don't believe because people humans can lie Max, Max, and humans Max, can are Max, Max, yeah. Max, Max, please <clears throat> look. Max, um, we really want to engage with people, but we really want to engage with sincere people. We gave you many facts of the case already. You can't just go back to a state where you don't respect any of the facts that we have given you. What you gave as a comparison, Donald Trump, isn't the case that we gave you. Roman military killed Jesus. While Roman or, or, or subjected Jesus through a process in which Jesus laid down his life. In that process, Jewish religious authorities were involved. So three different huge groups were paying attention, very close attention. The fact of Jesus' death is a virtual certain, certainty in the minds of anyone who is worth his salt in terms of being a historian. So, death of Jesus is a virtual certainty. Three different parties involved. He was put in a grave. 
three level protection a, a, a rock rolled covering the entrance to the grave a, a roman seal placed on it and roman god at the command of the governor of that region pontius pilate please max if we have to respect you if we need to consider you as any sensible man beyond someone who can't deal with two statements at a time do not ever ignore any of the statements we are saying right now please don't do that you come across you have to say something in a don't you don't have to say anything you don't have to say anything you are like, i i told you already you are like this um, this uh, crime investigator who shows up at the case and he stands there and says hey i don't like this case change the case no i don't like the chair being there can you please change the chair i don't like looking at this please can you change this is not an investigator who wants to be paid for his work or wants to be respected for his work the case is the case is the case whether you like it or not this is how we are presenting it this is how history is presenting it you can reject it or receive it for how it is presented but don't give your i am not happy because i am not given a juice at that time don't raise your minor quibbles no one i have to say something I but don't say, say anything oh, we are still we, you you just summed it sum the case up you know as if donald from someone 10 people no, claiming no, no, donald wait, wait, wait. i don't don't know where you're coming from please before, listen before to before all the points before. again yeah, please okay. please listen to all the points and then when you respond if you ignore if you ignore one or two we may think that or oh, maybe you're forgetting but if you ignore all of the points that we are raising we can only say this guy i either can't think through simple things or just is argumentative cannot deal with the complex case so please you, you still, still don't have to unmute we still haven't finished roman process jesus was dead adjudged by roman authorities expert executioners three different groups two of them powerful involved jewish authorities roman authorities involved tomb was there and then on the third day the tomb went empty after the tomb went empty you asked us details we gave you already persecution began out of the 11 apostles who were still alive uh, minus uh, judas iscariot 10 died prematurely for what they claimed not just that the early church which involved thousands who were in jerusalem were massively persecuted by jewish leadership immediately immediately it's all recorded in what is called the book of acts of the apostles the massive persecution the unrest was so severe that romans got involved and from there on persecution was taken over by rome the country was taken over by rome by this time very easily millions were being impacted unprecedented in their history bear in mind all of the you know most of the millions there had the resources to have gone to the tomb check the tomb and all these things jerusalem was the capital it's like knowing it's not just saying donald trump and 10 people said donald trump uh, rose up again no it's like saying donald trump died he was put in a grave the the american system while he is president let's so say biden is the better example and the american system says yes we know he has died he is in the grave and 3 days later can you imagine the go- g- grave going empty while the, again uh, unrivaled again jesus case is unrivaled because no one is going to pay attention to biden's grave for example but in the case of jesus that wasn't the case so uh, persecution broke out in jerusalem 
very easily within a couple of decades, three, four decades, five decades, millions would have been impacted already in the heartland in Judea. And then persecution spread to eventually from the first century going to the third century. Many, many Christians had to lay down their lives. These are the facts of the case. When you respond, please respect what we have said or challenge the facts that we are presenting. But don't give random them. No one wants random, you know, your okay. random can I, can comments. You can, but respect the facts, please. We, we let you speak it, now. It, so, so I want to proceed <clears throat> in good faith. Okay. So just if, if, if in case you think I'm insincere or I'm trolling or I'm here to prove you wrong, I'll definitely leave without any, any troubles. I'm not here to prove anyone wrong. I'm not insincere. I have questions about Christianity and I'm not saying any of the facts that you are saying is wrong. I'm not changing your facts. I'm not caricaturing you your response. <clears throat> Don't caricature. You gave, wasn't you the one who gave the analogy of Donald Trump? 10 people saying Donald Trump died and came no, back alive. That analogy that? was to prove the weight. Why I, I want to, I wanted to put weight on why it is important to prove he resurrected. My, Max, my, 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 you, excuse yeah. me one second, Max. Did you not say the case is similar to Donald Trump dying and 10 people testifying of his resurrection? Yeah. Isn't that what yes. you said? Yes. I, I, I meant what I meant was there are two cases people proving Donald Tr Trump's resurrection and Jesus resurrection. I wouldn't be, believe either of them. I wouldn't. Well, my my point them, simply is how is this saying this is very similar to Donald Trump dying and 10 people no, witnessing? No, no, no. Does that I, do I, justice I to believe, all the points I've raised so I'm far? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I won't believe none of them, but it is important. No one cares. No, no one cares mm -hmm. whether you believe in it or not. What we care about right now immediately is whether you respect the details we have given or not. Listen, I accept that these might be the facts, but I refuse no, might. to believe. If you, if you, if you have refuse, any question about refuse, the facts, you can challenge. I refuse, but, I refuse to believe that the people who saw Jesus were uh, saying the truth. I can, I have reasons to believe they are lying because I haven't seen any resurrection ever happen below before. So how can you prove that those 10 people or millions of people who died were actually uh, not lying? Because I've seen people say that they have seen aliens. They are give one legitimate, people, give, give but, one legitimate reason as to why the entire community would be willing to give up their lives. One legitimate reason. They didn't give up life for uh, Jesus. They were being pr persecuted ir irrespective of whether they saw Jesus or not. Romans were killing everyone. So they weren't dying for Jesus. They were already destined to die by Romans. Is that an uh, assumption? No. Yeah, that is an sir, assumption. Clear me. That is an assumption. Sir, that's Clear not me. legal procedure. That's not legal procedure at all. Right. Thomas actually traveled from Israel and died in India as an apostle because he was an eyewitness to the resurrection. So why would Thomas do that? Why and would the why other would Jesus, what the, why can I Jesus finish not, my statement? Yeah, sure. sure Let me sure. finish my statement. These first ten witnesses, actually eleven, right? One became a traitor out of the region of twelve. So eleven remained, and these eleven went to the enemies. They didn't hide. They said, as you very well know about these facts, the tomb is empty. Why is it empty? Right? We're talking about one person in world history. Jesus Christ who said, I'm the resurrection. He that believes in me will never die. So, why is the tomb empty? Guarded by the Romans, as a rope clearly stated, which is factual. Right? So, who broke the seal of the Romans, which is a capital punishment offense? Now, those 11 witnesses went to Africa, to Europe, to Asia, and preached the gospel, which said, I am an eyewitness. Were they willing to die for a lie? Where if it was a lie they were preaching, that would be a height of folly. I wouldn't bother. Nobody would listen right, to a lie.
I get it. Right. The so where they lie? Yeah. Where they lie? The in a court of law. Yeah, I get no, it. No, in a the court of law. Where they lie? Yeah. So okay, now there's a cons inconsistency with God. Okay. Now I'll tell you what. This the people were dying because they saw Jesus and they were ready to tell in courts, even though they knew the courts will uh, give them a death sentence, right? So maybe 10 people died, maybe millions of people died trying to prove they saw Jesus, okay? My question is, if Jesus is God, and if, if Jesus, if God is all loving, all powerful and all knowing, why didn't Jesus just show up and save those millions of people who were dying to prove God? Why right, didn't just Jesus show up? This is my right, question. Max, I'll answer this question. Uh, yeah, not thank the way you. you wouldn't expect either. So what you've done here is you you shifted the goalpost. So that's a valid question in some respects, but the way that we look at um, evidence, we take it on the merits of what we can establish. And the great thing about the death and resurrection of Christ is the evidence is really overwhelming and 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 in more than way one way than another. Back then, of course, as as Arrow mentioned, uh, the Jewish authorities had uh, a strong uh, issue or case against Christ because they didn't believe that was the the Messiah that they were waiting on. They were expecting something a little bit more glamorous, despite the. The, the scriptures pointing and prophesying exactly how Jesus will come and so forth. So they were very much against what Jesus was trying to claim um, and felt it was blasphemous, which is why it also didn't help his case to, 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 to not be captured because both uh, a lot of Jews uh, were against Christ for that reason. Um, and of course the authorities, because uh, the Roman authorities on the basis that um this was going against the allegiance to the to the throne because people were going to believe their God and not believing in the Roman Empire as their God in a sense, you know, as a, as authority to come under that authority. So, with that in mind, yet when witnesses up to five hundred plus the apostles were witnesses to the resurrection of Christ because they physically witnessed it. There was a huge conversion in terms of how significant that impacted the Jews. Many of Jews became Christians. Christians themselves are uh, believers uh, that became believers of Christ um, because of the witnesses and that message going through to others as well that, that claim that witness. It grew into one very significant group of people that believed and this was part of the history so there was a very strong history going against the jewish authorities position against the, the roman authorities position which means their lives were seriously in danger if this was based on purely speculation or some kind of obscure belief many this just would not reach this scale of of, of, of evidence it just wouldn't so all the evidence okay. put together through the history as well supporting that is the case okay. at hand? So I get you. I'm gonna comment because so I've been waiting a while. Right. Go on, go on. Max. Yeah, I'm sure. gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it at a different angle for you. I don't mm -hmm. actually even think you're being sincere, insincere, and I kind of get where you're coming from, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. But I'll, I'll tell you where Arrow is slightly right, and and what Ray sort of hinting at. The issue is, is you have a presupposition which supposes that if Christians are dying for persecution and to make a stronger witness, that God would just have divine intervention at every single stage, which, which, which if you do that, you could say that you should do that for every single person that either sins or needs God throughout the entire history. The mm -hmm. problem with that, that type of vein of thinking or notion is that is not what is stipulated by God or that he needs to do. So in the first case, what you need to understand is the design and purpose of Jesus Christ coming to earth in the first place, which mm -hmm. the main reason for that was to atone for mankind's sins. And that's throughout all the annals of time. 
The Bible says in Hebrews 9 verse 27, it's appointed for man to die once. And after that comes mm -hmm. a judgment. So in most cases, the majority of people will have to run their life based on the fact that if they get the witness of the gospel, they get the model of Jesus Christ, plus um, the fact and the presentation of Jesus being offered up for your sins and my sins. If I was to ask you the worst thing that you've ever done, I don't even think you could tell me. But... Mm -hmm. Point being is when we read something like Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10, it says this. Yet it pleased the Lord. This is speaking of Jesus, the suffering servant, because Jesus relayed this. Sorry, it was relayed to um, uh, the Ethiopian eunuch. I I'd, I'd advise maybe you read Acts chapter 8 and write that down. Um, but it pleased the Lord to, to bruise him. He has put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul. An offering for sin. He shall see his seed. Obviously th those that would believe on him. Uh, prolong their days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. And verse 5 says. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. So therefore what I'm trying to say to you is. The only mandates that was already in scripture. And which are given on unto all men. Which Jesus needed to fulfill was his death mm -hmm. and uh, for your sins and my sins to be crucified on the cross and for those sins to be eternally um, erased. Okay. That That's the first mm -hmm. thing. And then secondly, all he needed to do was prove the resurrection once and that needed to be shown or established in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Everybody else, aside from that, the law doesn't have mm -hmm. to show up for divine intervention or uh, divine evidence for everybody else because they simply yeah, need okay. to choose. D mm -hmm. Does that all make sense? Yeah, this this makes a lot more consistency in the story. This makes a lot Thank more you, consistency bro. in the story. So now, yeah. now I can move forward with uh, with a few different questions which are not related to existence of God but Christianity. Yep. So if 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 you are ready to answer, I'll ask. Like, uh, I mean, I have a few. No worries. Just is, just ask. Ask Ray or the panel in general, but I'll, be, I'll still be listening in for you, okay? Yeah, yeah. So they, they, these are unrelated, but I, I want to make sense of Christianity because I no, want to Max, make Max, sense of... Max, we, we, we would like to find out what yeah. you have done with the case that has been given to you. Listen, uh, if you ask me to... Uh, Act, like accept that this was all this was all true it's hard no one for asked you to, you to accept no one asked but you to accept. assume with with your case let no me one answer, asked me you ask. you're, you're interrupting no me you're interrupting me assume. you're interrupting me uh, you asked me a question let me answer with all the case that you gave i am ready to assume that jesus jesus was god and he came down to uh, uh, uh he got crucifixed and he got rid of all the sins and now he's he's not there to present himself he's not there to show himself he he what he came down to earth he he did it like his goal is achieved now he doesn't have to show and there were some people who saw um <laughs> jesus so that's why there's only testimony so i i can assume that jesus is god i can assume uh, that oh, this oh, 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 what I what we'd like to find out, Max, is based on the details given, is there yeah. any valid alternative explanation? Yeah, for me, for me, there's only one or uh, alternative explanation that uh, a I don't know how the body went away, so I can't I can't give you an explanation for that. But I I would rather not believe there's a supernatural cause. And B the people who said uh, they they saw Jesus were either delusional or those who told you that this happened. The people Excuse who me, told you Max Max, you're trying to solve not two different problems but one problem. The one problem. Let me complete has, my answer. No, let me no, no, but, but my please answer. don't answer please, a question which was never least, asked. Let me complete please my answer. Please don't answer a question which was never asked. You, you have been presented one I'm giving criminal you an alternate case. explanation. You asked me an one, alternate explanation. One criminal case. The body went empty. Uh, the two I went empty. Know. 
I don't know. Well, if you don't know, if you don't know, don't go on to say something else. Yeah, but but I I would ra- I would rather not assume a supernatural event. This is my position. Can we move forward? Can we move forward? No. Well, why should we? If you if you if you Because can't I have other be- questions about Christianity, and I rather I would rather not assume that you believe in a supernatural event. That that is why I have to believe in supernatural event. And there are some. murder cases some bank robbery robberies that are always unsolved we can't solve all mystery cases so i would rather not as yes, no one asked you to solve but... all mystery cases you yes, can't so even solve so one case which so has I been presented assume... no no excuse me max no one is going to employ you to solve all mystery cases at all anyone who watches you in the last half for 50 minutes and the previous week will never employ you to solve any such yeah, cases it doesn't hurt it doesn't so, and therefore and therefore and therefore what we are thinking about is not whether you are able to solve other cases or not frankly from me from me speaking to a fellow human being i am just wondering if max can sincerely grapple with facts presented and at least is humble enough to say hey guys i am really unsure what's going on here can i please look at this a little bit more and come back to you as opposed to i'd rather assume not and you know move on to another question if you rather okay. not assume why won't why should we think that you won't repeat the same thing in relation to any other question listen i have questions about christianity uh that i after after spending to. hours of explaining why yeah, should you interrupt me again uh, let not me answer when you Max. ask a question let me I'm answer not interested please Are listen to us let me answer or not no no we're not willing no 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 you have misunderstood so don't why are you if you come across question? max listen to me please if you come no, across no, no. why are you asking me a question if you if you're not letting me answer i you ask me a question that uh, how can you trust me with further question i'm telling you why no that's not the question i asked the question i asked is the i i was rather making a point this time not a question the question i asked was what i asked earlier give me one legitimate alternative explanation that brings together all the facts of the case that's the only question i asked which you did not respond you no, rather separated the case into you rather i'm i'm telling you i don't have any alternate explanation but i refuse to believe that there was a supernatural event called resurrection i still oh, refuse to believe let me ask but, but, but 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 just no no let me answer at least give me Ma- one 30 seconds no 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 let me complete just because i have a few more question i am ready to assume that there was a resurrection and jesus is god i can assume but i can't be certain can we not move on to my next questions or right, no. so i'll leave no. it's okay completely fine completely fine well, well, that's fine max if you want to leave that a simple question here why does max not think that god can come into planet earth's affairs like the resurrection Why are you excluding God from doing something if there's evidence for it? Okay, I'm not excluding God. I think God can interfere in a uh, human's life and pl- come to planet Earth. But if he can come, why does he have to leave and hide? Why can't he be right now? Why right should a God right listen to your plans? Because he wants me to worship him. Why should I worship excuse him me. if he excuse can't me. show himself? Excuse me. Listen to my question again. Why should God listen to your plans? He shouldn't. Then I shouldn't worship. I don't have to worship him if he can't show up. I don't have to believe in him. I ca- I don't have to worship. Right, I'll, I'll answer this, Max. Right? I'll answer this, for Max. And I'm going to do it in two stages. The first stage, and I want to just test you on your knowledge. Yeah. Would you agree? And um, I'm just going to go this a certain route. Would you agree uh, that you don't know? everything your knowledge is limited and yeah. there's agreed many things that you do not know agreed, agreed therefore it's possible the bits that you don't know may involve supernatural events because no, you're this stage, that. right so I you don't, can't i don't can't agree that 
you can't dismiss what you don't know. So if the explanation of God sits in the area that you do not have knowledge of, which is possible because you don't know everything, that's the first thing. So it's possible that anything in terms of understanding something that you yourself agree do not know because you do not know everything, but therefore it's a possibility of an area that you yet at this point have no knowledge of because you have never personally experienced the supernatural, so you're basing it purely on a literal personal experience. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist because we are putting forward cases of events which involve and a part of that event which you would call supernatural, I resurrection. Yeah, Ray, Ray, so, you made a very, very good point. I completely agree. And I'll make your argument stronger by saying if I was thousand like thousand years back, if someone said there would be cars, I wouldn't believe it, right? So just because I haven't seen any supernatural things, uh, I mean there could be supernatural things. There could be. Maybe I don't know that. I haven't seen it. That is why I refuse to believe in supernatural things. My point is, for me to actually believe, it's not that I only want resurrection to happen as a supernatural evidence. There could be other supernatural events that could prove that supernatural things ha actually happen. For example, if I saw a flying horse vanishing into thin air, if he becomes invisible, that's a supernatural event. And now... I can start believing in supernatural events. And right. then I can actually start believing that, yeah, maybe resurrection can happen. Okay. But just okay. because... This is absolutely <laughs> obnoxious. This is typical Perfect. Richard... Actually, Richard actually Dawkins very style. logical. This is, this, is typical, this is typical Richard Dawkins style. Talking about fair, tooth fairies and flying horses when we are giving you solid facts for which, by the way, Ray, can I please can I please respond to what you you actually uh, said just a minute ago? If you carefully note the previous comment that Max made before you asked your question, Ray, he actually agreed because note carefully when I when I when I sort of cornered him, he said he does not have an alternative. He does not know of an alternative, yeah. but he refuses to believe in this. So by saying those two things, he clearly is testifying that this is the only thing that he sees that could have happened. But he just wants to be blind because he clearly says there is no other alternative in his mind. No alternative, only alternative he refuses. In other words, for any sensible human being, including Max in this case, they know and understand Given the facts of the case, there is only one explanation. Regardless of how, how much you hate that explanation, how much you don't like that explanation, only one explanation makes sense. And that is somehow who was dead, yeah. had the power to leave the grave and had come out. And 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 where the floor? Okay, I was, was giving I was Max, giving Arul uh, Max, an alternative. Max, no, we're not asking for a comment now. Please, please, no, no. no the, the, please, please don't. We, we want we want a sensible conversation. Right. We don't want people who, when cornered, when they are facing, you know, solid facts staring into their faces, someone who says, "Oh, now I want to move on to some other question." That's not the conversation we want to have, Max. Right. That's not a conversation I'd like to have with you if I were your professor teaching you in university. I'd be looking at you thinking, how, how did this guy enter into university? Apologies. But this is how I'd be looking at you. If, I'm, if, I'm, if I've employed you if I've employed you to deal with any criminal case, I want me, my give money me 30 back. Seconds. Give me no, 30 no, 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 30 seconds, one second, nothing. Max. One second, Max. Um. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll give you a second here. So, so based on what Arrow was saying, I just, just I will just summarize in a really quick way. With I, I think Ray, he understands the summary. He needs to now uh, give us yeah, what he. Yeah, I, I, I can't come. give get thirty seconds. There's no point. There's no point you, if you, I can't get thirty seconds in a, in a short while. Just, just okay, hold on. I'll just wait. One, one second. I'll man. wait. Yeah. What, 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 what I was saying, I'm just going to say in a different way. <laughs> Even if the evidence is really clear cut 
in terms of the evidence itself, the only reason you're not going to believe it, even though you have no alternative, is because you haven't personally experienced yourself. That's the understanding I'm getting. The flaw with that argument is that no matter what evidence provided, unless you max witness that particular phenomena, no matter how many people put forward the belief, it's going to mean zero to you, despite how incredibly strong the evidence is, just because you personally haven't had that experience. And that's the flaw of your argument, is that that is not how it works. There are many, 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 many things. People believe that they haven't witnessed themselves because the evidence is so convincing that it is actually a very genuine case to believe, and Jesus Christ is Definitely, resurrection is one of those cases. Is that Ray, correct, Matt? Listen, Matt. Yeah, that's actually that's actually true. So I'll answer. Okay. You, so answer so you so that. so here here is. No, but I need seconds, my thirty seconds. Second. Listen, I can't. One, we'll I can't give do it this. to you. One second, second, Max. One wait second, one Max, second. Yeah. One okay. second. So so what I kind of see, I I can kind of agree with Errol because if you're getting some questions answered, but you're still hinging or hedging your bets. When it comes down to it, as I was saying when you're cornered, that you'll re totally refuse to believe in a resurrection, where else would that leave us to go? By your own logic or by your own standards? All right. Now I'll answer your question, but I'll first answer Arul with the, with the uh, alternative uh, assumption to the story. So he said either God resurrected and uh, I said... I don't believe in resurrection. So what's the alternative? The alternative is whoever told you that these people died because they saw Jesus, whoever told you that happened must have lied to you. That's my alternate explanation. But let me answer Hebrews uh, question. Okay. The question is that what would make me, is, is that your question that what would make me believe? The question in God is, is, if, is, is the, the, the question really is just a further expansion on what Ray has said. So I'm not I'm not doing anything different from what Ray said or what Arrow's I mean, been I saying. Mean, I'm, I'm agreeing with Ray. Uh, uh, yeah, feel free I'm, to I'm, answer the question so we can see where this goes. Go ahead. Yeah, so basically what Ray said about me is actually right because I haven't experienced anything I, I wouldn't I wouldn't usually believe in it. So uh, as I said, if 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 we were thousand years back right now, and someone told me that there would be cars in the future or they saw cars, I wouldn't believe it, right? Because I didn't see it, doesn't mean that it isn't true. I agree. I agree. I <laughs> I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen a resurrection or supernatural event. That is why I refuse to believe in a story like that. I would now. What What's the other side? Let's say. I see a resurrection or maybe I see a God. Maybe God comes from the heaven and sh and creates life, does a miracle. He creates life in front of me. After that day, I would never, never debate on this. I would never, uh, I would actually start believing in God. I would, I would be in awe of God. I would <laughs> worship God. You're getting my point. So I need... No, actually, not really. So not really. Uh, nice 30 seconds there, Max. Let, 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 me, let me let me let me let me let me uh, not really really not interested in uh, in um, dodging what is obvious let me ask you a very simple question yeah very very mm -hmm. simple Let, let's let's get to the basics right now yeah mm -hmm. let's say i have a room to the right of me yeah i'm mm -hmm. sitting here but there is a room to the right of me yeah mm -hmm. um, let's say the room has only one entrance and exit no window mm -hmm. whatsoever only one mm -hmm. entrance and only one door nothing mm -hmm. else yeah 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 and i am sitting here in front of the door i open the door I, there is a lock a very good quality lock i open the door and i see the room is empty i have a football in my hand inflated in a good shape, no problem. We're very good football. Leave it inside. Mm -hmm. Come out. Lock the door. I am waiting here. Waiting here. Watching. 30 seconds later, I open the door. 
again open the lock get in the football isn't there mm-hmm. can we at least agree that something happened to the football yeah for sure as okay. opposed to saying as opposed to saying i you know i don't understand what is going on here i'll just ignore this no, can we at least agree on that some, something happened to the ball i agree yeah and whatever happened to the ball was to the extent yeah. was to the extent it left the room and went somewhere else yeah could we agree in that description yeah okay i agree yeah sure whether we like it or not whether we believe in a god or not if the yeah. case is this if the details of the case is what i am describing yeah clearly somehow what was meant to be inside is no longer inside because of some you know very interesting phenomenon we agree yeah mm-hmm. that is exactly what we are talking about here in the case of jesus christ except instead of me just talking about my key my silly being here we are talking about the thousand times better entities guarding from multiple angles so can we please agree whether you like god or not whether you whether whether you whether you had breakfast today or not whether you like orange juice or not okay, so so can, can we can we can we please can one second please don't rush can we please just agree whether we like it or not somehow something happened to the body to an extent the body had left the room i.e the grave yeah, and is yeah. somehow outside of the grave in yeah, some I, way I, shape I, or form can we agree on that yeah which is what christians call resurrection okay now now Uh, will i will i get a chance to respond to this football story well if you're interested in, in the football story more than the more serious story yeah, that we're talking about no, no, we're the talking about the more serious story at hand please clarify if, any, if you want to clarify yeah. anything through the football the story football story if you tell me that that happened i would definitely agree something happened to the ball and we need to figure out so what i'll do is come to your room and put a football there lock and put a camera there log the room and see what happens there okay if nothing happens then i'll say you are lying you lied to me otherwise if something is captured in the camera that the ball vanished then i'll start believing that there is a supernatural thing which vanished the ball until sure. i get a proof you are lying to me no problem wonderful i uh, max wonderful you don't trust me that's fine you don't trust human beings that's a very miserable life yeah, but that's human, fine human's life that's, that's human's very life. fine that's yeah I mean, i mean walking around thinking human beings lie so why should we think uh, that you say the truth and have a conversation with you you might be one of those lying human beings by your own account the, the for, by your own account story, human beings lie now i know story. brother darren i know brother ray i don't think they do that but if you think this is the world you know of maybe you are that one so let's let's do this it's a little bit of a miserable life but let's pretend for a moment in the explanation we gave if there was a cctv watching all the time you are happy with that mm-hmm. yeah 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 the, let me ask you a very simple question do you believe in anything which is not covered by cctvs yeah i believe i believe in i i i haven't seen in i haven't seen china but i know there's a country called china oh not covered by cctv yeah so oh so lovely I, i can yeah okay I, i can i can i can explain i can explain that theory and connect it with resurrection okay do if you if you give me uh, like one minute so sure. i can yeah. if if someone asks me can you prove china is there i haven't seen it right so i can i'll say yes and if i'll give the proof that uh any any event happens in china is covered and covered by all news okay so you'll say well news news can lie okay so the next proof is i went to a different state using a flight i took i i booked a ticket from a website and i went to goa the same website allows me to book a ticket to china that is my second proof third proof 
I have a friend that came from China. So even if one part is false, I can combine all three and like with 99 or 100 percent certainty say that China is there. And fourth, and, and now I'll connect to resurrection. I have seen countries, I live in a country that that is why there can be a different country called China, but I haven't seen any resurrection. Therefore, there can't be any other resurrection. My point have is, you seen any seen, other China? I have seen other countries. No, no, no. Have you seen any China? Um, just a second. Just, just I just a sure, second. Sure. sure. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> Max. I haven't I, I have I have seen countries, but that proves that there can be other countries. China no, 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 no. That's not the question, Max. Have you seen any other China? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. So you 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 have there is only one China and that you haven't seen. Yeah. There is only one resurrection and that you haven't seen. What's the difference but in there this? There are other countries. I live in India. That is a country. I uh, I have seen other countries. I've been to been to Dubai. So countries. Look, any number of countries back. existing. It's not supernatural. Any any it's any number of countries existing. Excuse me. Any number of countries existing or non exist uh, or not existing has no bearing on whether China exists. It has. I can. I can be. Uh, I can. I have no reason to doubt there is no China. Let me put it this. Yeah. Way. Tell me. I give have, me the good I reasons have, that you yeah, want. Good reasons. I'm. I'm going to give to you doubt, good to reasons. doubt the resurrection story based on the details given to you. Okay. So I have been full, to Dubai. Full, full case. Yeah. Listen. I have been to Dubai. I have been to Nepal, and I have been in India. So I, I know that there are countries outside of India, and uh, countries outside I, outside of India doesn't mean it's supernatural. It's natural. It's normal. It's land. Okay, they are not claiming to be supernatural. Please, 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 please I irrelevant. I irrelevant. Have, irrelevant. I Max, 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 Max. No, let Max, me answer. Let Max, me answer. Give me thirty Max, seconds. Max, give me, no, give please, me thirty please, seconds. Max, 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 please don't get into circular argumentation. I don't believe in a god, and therefore I don't believe in a god is not a good argumentation at all. You can say that right at the start and not waste our time. Just saying I don't believe in the god, and therefore that's not the question asked. Look at the case, explain one, give one good reason not to believe resurrection is the best explanation only because explanation i haven't yet. seen anyone resurrected any animal or it doesn't animal. matter you say who are matters. you how many people but have you seen in your life max, that's the flaw of your argument it's not about what you see it's about the case itself if for example you've never seen anybody uh, kill somebody with a knife okay and you've never seen a knife and you go into yeah. a court case and the evidence is clearly that somebody kill somebody with a knife the evidence itself even yeah. though you've never personally seen it you've got to go with the evidence so your I personal agree, but view it's not is kind of irrelevant no, huh? but it's i agree with you i agree with you but it's not it's not a supernatural claim that someone murdered no, someone with a no, knife. no 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 i'm not talking about whether it's natural or supernatural i'm just talking about the evidence of what took place. So the supernatural is built into natural events. So can I at least qualify the natural events? And if you qualify the natural events, the good thing with this is it then will only lead to a certain conclusion is our point. It doesn't give you alternative conclusion. So whether it's supernatural or natural, what is the conclusion? If the conclusion goes against the grain of natural, so be it, as long as it's watertight. It's a watertight case. And that's what we're saying. If the natural person was alive, the person was naturally identified as 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 as, as died, was in the tomb, etc. And then we have absolute evidence, extremely overwhelming, that Jesus, after three days, was alive. So many witnesses, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and all the records to confirm it. We have to at least come to the conclusion, no matter how much we don't like the supernatural element, at least all the events themselves are clear cut evidence. And that's all we're asking you. Would you at least agree on all those all those events as being clear cut evidence? I told you uh, it's hard for me to believe 
not saying whether uh, it's I hard. I get that bit. Told you that but would you at least have to uh, come it, to it the happened, conclusion? It happened. It happened. It happened. Like thousands of years ago. I think whoever told you that story might be lying, or maybe they were uh, lying too. Uh, that is why because there's there's no conclusion we won't agree on one thing that is why i said let's assume jesus is god and i have a, other questions because I not interested max on that not no, not interested that's fine completely fair completely fair you have answered my questions up till now you don't want to answer the next questions that's completely fine but no max they are not even thinking they are not Let's my friend mr max mr max you're not being rational you're being illogical right philosophically you're not being rational or logical okay the tomb is empty question why that's a legal question it's got nothing to do whether you believe it or not you have to come to a good reason which is rational and says that tomb is empty because that's what we're asking you to think i don't have the answer okay Listen, well, thank you very much right so you don't know well, well excuse me people who started off like you were honest and went to investigate they found out that oh the evidence is very strong that yes jesus came back from the dead there th there are lots of different ways of looking at number 1 where does the church come from the church comes from israel from jerusalem the heart of the resurrection if the resurrection was a fake there will be no church in india there will be no church in britain there will be no church anywhere in the world why because right there 2000 years ago the enemies of the church would have said hey guys There's a dead body of Jesus right here. So shut up and go home. Case closed. Why didn't they do that? So with, with, on that Why didn't they that do basis, that? Okay, see why. If if churches is the evidence of uh, Jesus as a god, then mosques are the evidence of uh, Allah as a god. Your your case doesn't be become stronger with the number of churches. Did Muhammad come back from the dead? but there are did muhammad so come back from the dead no i don't no 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 he didn't no he didn't no he muslim didn't. can yeah, say I, that right no I, I, muslim I, has ever said muhammad our leader came back from the dead okay his bones are still there in saudi arabia the bones of jesus christ are not in any tomb in uh, in jerusalem in israel period that's a difference agree. i completely agree Muhammad so why is one, why is one okay so why is it that one tomb is empty and the other one is full of dead bones but there are so many mosques so allah must no, 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 no 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 we're talking about adam muhammad who's buried in so called arabia right his bones are still there why didn't he come back from the Because dead he's not the son of god he's just a messenger Okay so why is it that Jesus came back from the dead because he's son of god thank you case closed but he's son of god god is allah then then islam is the true religion and allah is the true god max, that's max, why i max, ask max. you that's max, 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 max 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 do you do you uh, do you know islam at all the origin of islam in any manner shape or form maybe one but how how how, how much One percent, maybe. What, what do you mean? Uh, do you know when Muhammad was born? Supposed to have been born. Uh, I don't know. No. So can I? Can I? You you are doing the same thing, which you were doing with Jesus Christ case also. Know nothing but comment as an expert. That's who you are. If I ask question, you don't answer. I'm I'm no, never, you're never never I'm please, please, please please don't be I offended. I'm, I'm making I'm making a very obvious. observation please don't be offended you were the one when brother sai mentioned you know the origin of the church from there he was making an incremental point by the way whatever we presented earlier he was adding one more one more evidence point to that by saying the emergence of the church by the way when we say the church we are talking about the people you spoke about buildings mosques i don't know why you had that in mind but regardless you immediately jump on to compare 
this is a typical atheistic you know absolutely gibberish nonsense when they do absolutely no research to give even basic facts they shamelessly stand in a public forum and make all you know, if that is the evidence for that this is the evidence for this i can't believe this absolute gibberish nonsense so max how much of islam do you know please let me know again not even 1% so don't in any further conversation unless you take the time to read research on the latest evidence in relation to how islam began or did not begin unless you do even a preliminary analysis don't even use islam as an example don't do that no one uh, cares what you think max listen listen let's let's do one thing let's agree to disagree okay Okay, I fine. Yeah, I, 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 well, you, you want to disagree on a very basic point, which is you'd like to yeah. comment on all sorts of things when you know absolutely nothing about. Yeah, basically, uh, I rest my case. I rest my case because uh, I am ready to move forward with an assumption that uh, uh, Jesus is the God. Not interested. You, we, I may, yeah, we mentioned yeah, so already. So I rest my case. That's what I'm saying. No, right? sure, sure, that's fine. You, you, I, you gave me the story. I don't believe it. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. And the reason you don't believe is because you don't believe in a God. So I don't know what further conversation you want I to have because we can spend two hours and then you can still say the same thing. We will believe Max. God only if the Lord turns up in front of His doorstep, saying hi and shakes His hand. Exactly right. I, I think that's then a I very good point you're, you're making there. I, I really wanted to comment on that. Max, one second, please. Uh, we will let you have the last word, please. Uh, but just one minute, uh, Bray, Ray. You are very, very right. Max does not like the God of history. God, as He showed up, He does not like. he only wants another version of god and that god the other version of god whom he would take seriously and believe in is a god who works for max a god who will listen to max and say yes lord max i'll do exactly what you say and that god he will accept unfortunately that god doesn't exist and so max is going to be terribly terribly upset all through his life that the version of god that he wants for whom he wants to be the ceo doesn't exist while all along he rejects the only god the true god who is not just ceo on top of max but super duper ceo a gazillion times has showed up in history but he will not allow people like max to dictate terms that god max doesn't like that's what's going on at the moment max very unfortunately um so it's up to you it's up to you to see what you want to do with the evidence you know, and, um, uh, funny enough there's been many many uh, shall we say disbelievers of god that on their deathbed for people that were avant strong disbelievers shall we say and they're well known recognized individuals and we'll bring some quotes uh, uh, in weeks to come who actually claim on their deathbed that they got it wrong for a number of different reasons one is because they heard a word from god on their last breath they had an experience of god in the, at their last seconds of their life the problem is of course it's too late so even people Can I... like... go on go now apologies ray uh, well, one such example is my own father uh, max comes from india he might have been familiar with this uh, max you might be aware of this uh, gentleman called periyar who is one of the freedom fighters who is a very popular atheist who came from tamil nadu my father is a very popular periyarist he was very popular in his circles you know across tamil nadu you know various um known uh, for various different things and so on um and my dad passed away a couple of years ago uh, when he was 72 um uh, believe it or not for he he will have similar arguments for many many years life was speaker's con all day long at home for us in india you know uh, but eventually it came to a point where in 2007 god moved my father in a manner he could not refuse his existence anymore eventually he passed away as a sincere disciple of the lord jesus christ max and I, i it's really sad to hear that you are where you are right now but god who is much mightier than you has an interesting way of moving things so please don't be surprised that interesting things happen in your life in such a way 
where you think ah oh, that seems like the one i have always hated knocking on my door please don't be surprised uh, ray brother ray apology oh that's right and thank you for that sharing that because this is the, the thing there is a way we will go through this of, of why god operates a certain way and the simplest way to just put that out to you is he documents this in his word and explains his plan and purpose and that plan and purpose goes for a particular model this is the story if you like of god this is what is actually written and documented in scripture in really really impressive detail it's quite phenomenal because not only have you got some amazing history when you look at events that take place in the old testament historically they all have some kind of precursor to the event of christ it's an unbelievable parallel that you just cannot see but once people start studying and piecing it together this is incredible woven tapestry around christ that is hidden in layers within scripture puts an incredible powerpoint of who christ is god's purpose and plan and why it is a certain way it's not based on you know standing in front of everybody and giving every single person absolute convinc- com- proof it's about having a level of evidence and then he talks about how we should seek him those who honestly truly seek truth of god will find god but to do that you've got to open your heart open your mind to seek don't be the one who's going to demand a certain standard a certain way of evidence that you are dictating all right Ray, God himself I have a, is, yeah let me just finish bit, god is yeah. actually outlining exactly the way he is going to reveal himself and has done in history jesus being particularly the key point but also in many many lives over history how god has touched millions and millions of people's lives and that is something that of course is part of that evidence to explain that we have to be very very careful not to start dictating oh god has got to do it this way and if he doesn't do it this way i won't believe because that's where i would say you're going to leave yourself into a very very tricky yeah. position ray so with with your point that you said um i completely agree you know what happened like i wasn't always atheist i was an agnostic and then uh something bad happened bad was happening in my life i started praying to god our indian god right so i prayed for a month like like genuinely prayed genuinely like you said you're seeking god right i was genuinely seeking but he didn't help then i started cursing god okay then i started hating god uh for a month i prayed for a month i hated god and cursed him and there was nothing bad like my situation my problem didn't solve but nothing bad extra bad was happening so even cursing doesn't work even praying doesn't work so i actually seek god but nothing happened so i realized actually there is no god then people started asking how did life how are we here then and that was a valid question i read richard dawkins selfish gene i re- read about evolution and that made sense to me it it has been 15 years that i have been an atheist so it's not like i have tried to seek god i did but i couldn't find him with open heart to be honest i'm being very very honest with you because i was a kid i had no reason to believe not believe in god but after 15 years even after 15 years of being atheist i couldn't find so um i thought i'll ask religious people why do they believe in it that's why i'm coming on this on these channels not only your channel but other channels too but uh, i mean i mean we are we are stuck at a point where there's no uh, going forward so i understand and thanks for answering all my questions i i didn't come with bad faith in trying to prove you wrong or prove islam wrong or anyone i genuinely wanted to believe like why do you believe without evidence so this was my uh, oh, oh, oh. mate uh, max I, i did mention at the beginning we are not saying that we believe because of no evidence our fundamental belief is because of evidence okay that's our okay. main premise not so that may be a misnomer or misunderstanding yeah, yeah, yeah no i get it belief. so you choose to believe that evidence uh but for yeah. me it's not strong enough for you it's strong enough so i don't mind if you believe in god i have no no fight with you i have no fight with all right max so there's two, two things i think there. i will i will start believing in god um uh, 
if i see god do some miracle in front of my eyes that would be a pretty good evidence and i think a- every atheist will convert when they actually see god do a miracle in front of them that's a pure evidence and then i'll start worshiping god yeah uh max um can i can i uh, can i uh, ask you something please um sure. you know uh, i have a little child i don't know if you're married i know you're a bit younger than i uh, me i can't remember how old you are do you have a family do you have children no i i have no wife no children okay so you're not married yet you I mean, know i have a little daughter um you know um, or maybe you can imagine your own father in relation to you for example now when my child grows up for example let, let's say she needs to sit an examination um if i am a good father would i think let my child study and go through the exam and come out well you know learn whatever she learns you know if she struggles maybe she'll study again whatever or should i think wait a second i have a i have a secret recipe for this you know i'll show i'll 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 show up i'll i'll have a proxy instead of my child appear in examination instead of her help her get 100% marks if i am a good father what would i do would i do that yeah you would do the first one you would do the first one not a proxy exactly that's what that's what god would also do just because you are saying oh i like my exam spoon fed to me he won't do that please don't please don't please don't expect him yeah, to do that i didn't get your i get, i didn't get your example like how does uh, the example is very simply the example is very simply you are suggesting that like yourself and other atheists if they come across themselves if they come across uh, some sort of a supernatural event then they'll suddenly become god glorifying people that's spoon feeding in my view god would rather want you to be intelligent and receive him for what he presents as complex as it might be mm-hmm. he'd like you to be an intelligent human being coming to him as supposed to some kindergarten child who is only looking for a spoon for i i only you are only i only the mental comes in a spoon Arul, and Arul, yeah. you're insulting me a lot from the start you're calling me unintelligent you're calling me uh, a j- person who says gibberish you're insulting me a lot it doesn't bother me because i'm not an unintelligent person so what you say doesn't bother me but this bothers this conversation it's hard to talk to you because you are actually insulting me and it's it's basically not uncommon because i've been to other channels they start uh, saying me you are a foolish person you are this and that and maybe sometimes remove me from the stream I'm glad that you have you haven't thrown me out so i'm used to getting called names by religious people that's fine but it actually spoils the this discussion i it's hard for me to want to believe you just because you are Max Max okay if you if you are you are you saying if you watch are you saying if you watch the last one and a half hours that you will find one statement where i called you names yeah you say you you said god wants to be an intelligent person as if all atheists are uh, unintelligent you called me you said that i am saying gibberish if you if you want to rewind you you can are you just L- like, listen to me again the question is very simple excuse me max the question is very I, simple i didn't say i didn't say you called the last one and a half right? hours did you hear me call you name by any particular name no but you said that no, I, I no one would no, if no you feel guilty stream, no 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 in the last stream and also this time you said no one would hire you as an investigator like i am not still not I'm calling not you name to insult you yeah you, you, okay you know you didn't call me name but you are right. implying you are patronizing me you are implying that i'm unintelligent i'm not smart enough to be an investigator listen throughout all of this i never said that you believing in stupid fake uh, idiotic stories i don't say that stuff to religious people i understand they have strong beliefs in their religion i think these are stupid stories but i never use that word okay you just used I'm you not, just did I'm, you just I did it's not a problem at all I, i believe these are these are stupid stories because un, they are unnatural but i don't say it to their faces you just I'm said saying, uh, three four I times in the last right month now, i i said it right now it, it's not a revenge i'm just saying i don't like disrespecting people for their beliefs you are disrespecting me 
for being an atheist you are calling me an unintelligent person and it doesn't bother me but it no, i look look, look you can watch uh, max max i know you're feeling guilty i completely understand but you can la- watch guilty. last one and a half hours you can please watch the last one and a half hours and i challenge you you will not hear one statement where i told that you are unintelligent you imply i might have said the conclusions you are drawing are gibberish <laughs> comments that you made were gibberish at times if but in relation to you as a person i don't think you will find this is my in my conscience you can check if you want you please bring it. you implied it you implied it by Who saying the, no, 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 no one would hire you as an investigator why i won't hire you, you. it's very simple you said you very, i won't hire you, you. i can no repeat this multiple times if you, you want no one will hire you you said no one will hire you you said that okay and it's fine it's it's not it's not you know what i'm a guest here i didn't mean to i didn't come here to fight anyone or disprove anyone i had genuine questions and these are the same questions i ask on yes, electric channels did you realize but it's it's not it's not it's not fair to guess that you'll just land you uh, insult them well in one minute please apologies uh, but max do you realize do you realize the end point where you got to the end point was i don't believe in resurrection in other words i don't believe in the supernatural and therefore we can't do anything about it isn't isn't that a rough uh, yeah yeah but do you realize someone who says that has no purpose in having such conversation I don't so believe in this supernatural so why have this conversation that's why i said that's why i said i rest my case first first i said let's assume there is a, there is a god because there was no end point to our discussions because i had more questions and i don't expect to uh, get answers for that so i'll ask some other question because i have more questions about christianity so i'll go to another channel who is ready ready to answer but first i said let's assume there is a god called jesus who resurrected i'm ready to assume because i want to move forward you didn't then i said i'm rest my case what else do you want from me i'm i i got your point i got your answers what else do you want uh, <laughs> so look so, someone says on the chat you know it, it doesn't matter max can i please ask you for a favor uh, can you please email me info@operationsteven.org it'd be lovely to uh, catch up with you over zoom or something you know it'd be lovely to have a longer conversation uh, outside of the stream but apart could you could you please do that favor to me i'll do that but uh, i won't like just be be nice to me i don't want to insult anyone i don't want to get insulted i just want answers that's it sure okay well i i i genuinely think i wasn't insulting you as a person only some points that you made but i'm really sorry um i can apologize and um, yeah if you please email me max Okay. Uh, it'll be lovely to have. Uh, yeah, bro- brother Ray. Uh, yeah. Such so a email on the backstage backstage chat. Yeah. Let me. Let me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll. I'll. I'll type it in here. Hi, right, Max. I'm just going to quickly say hi to AJ. Um, I see you jumped on the stage. I've just. Um, hello. Uh, hello. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Is Max still there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. Just very quickly, um, Max. I've said very little tonight. I've been listening in. and um I, i would say the lord has had me sort of sympathizing and meditating over where you are whether you choose to believe that or not is entirely your business because as you said um you can choose to re- accept something or reject something but before you go tonight i want to leave you with a verse from the bible especially for you and do you believe max that mm-hmm. if there is a god that god would be your friend uh i have uh, i have doubts because uh that's why i wanted to ask more questions that is this is why i wanted to move nope. forward because if there was a god if there was a god yep. he's he's not he's not uh, all loving and all powerful and i wanted to understand it. you know why because people say that if you don't worship god you'll go to hell that is not how a god should be for in my okay. in my perception 
that, no, that's another this question, and Adam Arrow can get to that. But but God does. God, in fact, actually, I'm going to answer that. I'm going to answer yeah, that okay. in um in a moment. So let me get to what I'm going to do. You can follow up with Arrow because that was actually the verse after this one. But here's what I want to do. Um, John chapter 15 verse 13 says this: Greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. The God of the Bible, Jesus Christ. Repeat that, repeat that, repeat that. Okay, so so John chapter 15, mm -hmm. verse 13. Mm -hmm. This is this is what, what the Lord has advanced in his case to make himself your friend. And it says this, greater love has no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends okay mm -hmm. now in terms of the second thing which you mentioned um about well god's not all powerful or he's not all loving and bec because if he was he wouldn't send people to hell well verse yeah. 14 also says this yeah you are my friends if you do what i command you mm -hmm. i've never known of a being that is higher than me that is sovereign that I could literally just walk into Buckingham Palace, say, for example, for King Charles and just put my feet up on his table and do exactly what I wanted to do without expecting police not to escort me out to the nearest prison cell with guns pointed at my head. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to dwell on that part. You can pick up on that part more so with, with Arrow. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the point being is three aspects of God. He's holy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's a creator, and he's just. And in his justice, he, he will do, deal with all things. But, you know, uh, take some time maybe if, if you want. Read John chapter 15, but I want to leave you with 15 verse 13 once more. Greater love had no man than this, that, that a man laid down his life for his friends, and that's what Christ did on the cross for you, and the worst ever sin that you've ever committed that is in your heart and that is in your mind now that you wouldn't tell any of us on the panel that you've ever done. Mm -hmm. Amen. I wanna, I'll leave you so, with that. AJ, 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 thanks for um, explaining me that. Uh, I yeah. wanted to discuss this actually today. So my topic was not, uh, I, told, I told Ray that my topic is not existence of God, but I wanted to ask questions about uh, God is he all loving and all powerful so uh, I, I would love to reply to you but but let's let's not start this discussion because this is again a long discussion okay right so, so yeah. uh, maybe Mike, maybe we'll, um, we'll uh, yeah we're gonna need, we're gonna move this. on now because yeah. we've got AJ under, here under and I want to give AJ yeah, yeah I leave I leave yes. I leave yeah I understand all right. so thanks yeah, thanks yeah. everyone for answering yeah, again, my questions Mike. You're going. Right. You're going. Lo my... Lovely, lovely to, um, uh, lovely to have a conversation with you, Max. And uh, if you please email, we can follow up. Thank you very much. I wanted uh, thanks, to ask uh, Max a lot. question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, AJ, um, uh, apologies, uh, Ray. Um, AJ comes from a different background. I'd, I'd rather not. Uh, um, Jack, no. Apologies. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you can ask questions. Thank uh, you. Who was that? No, I don't uh, AJ is not part of the panel. He represents a different worldview. We don't want uh, people uh, to uh, misunderstand. So uh, AJ is not an atheist? Okay. He's not an atheist. I, he's a Roman Catholic. Oh, sorry, AJ. Yeah, this is the wrong stream for that. So we're not here to discuss... Uh, that topic. It's only uh, uh, inviting atheists on board. More than welcome to listen in. I, I, I wanted to ask the atheist a question. It's not. Uh, uh... Sure, uh, Jack. But uh, we we ourselves have disagreements, so it's it's not uh, fair for you to uh, for you to come alongside, and uh, it may lead to confusion. Do, All right. So uh, what, maybe what? maybe next maybe in next stream, AJ. Uh, maybe in next stream, we'll we'll come and we and we okay. can have this question. So, yeah, this one I was just talking out with Arrow. Our disagreement is not on the existence of God, right? Or the loving nature of God. So sorry, come again, AJ. I'm, I'm I was I'm, I was saying that our, our disagreement is not 
on the existence or the loving nature of god right no our dis- uh, jack our disagreement is even on how we process history jack you have been struggling for weeks to give a response to the questions we asked about roman catholicism yet you want to insist on being a roman catholic it's the same mindset that J- max has the, the, from what we see it's not any different so i don't know how you are going to ask some questions to him as if you come from a better place of reasoning it's it's not the case so i i, I, th- I think i think it will lead to confusion uh, i i i i let ray decide but this is this is my this is my um this is my yes, best will, judgment yeah so it's only regarding specifically the the world view of the atheist stroke agnostic agnostic um so if it's a question specifically on that then that's fine but that's all we're really covering tonight on this trip. yeah it was it was uh uh i know what the stri- but i've been listening to the stream and i know how it goes it it wasn't something that was going to shift from what you guys were asking him or uh from the procedures you guys have been taking but i understand aru's point uh he says that we have a we have a different point of view i have not been able to answer his question therefore i cannot come and stand uh and ask people uh, questions of which i have not been able to answer the questions that he himself and I has asked me uh i think that's the point where uh the point uh, aru is making yeah ja- jack you are a wonderful friend uh but we'd like to engage with you on a monday because if you come alongside here and ask a question then people may get confused they may think you are you are you know how to deal with the uh, uh, historical information which you can't in our view so it lead I'm to confusion i'm not dealing with historical information i was just going to ask him basic information concerning his uh, uh his uh, a statement he made because uh, uh, max made a statement that unless but, god Unless God Apologies, Jack. Make- Apologies, Jack. Monday, please. Yeah, what what I will say, Jack. Jack is 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 kind of come to the end of his section anyway, and I think we would kind of be going back round into un, un, into either unpackaging or repackaging, which I I don't think is kind of appropriate now. So let him come back round on on the next section, and it may be well that we could consider it at that point, but I don't think uh, for now. it would it, it should go okay all right that's okay, fair i point. leave now uh, good talk take care everyone good talk yeah god bless right. god bless max right. you take god care good to- right. good talking to you bro all right take care bye bye okay take care bye 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 right. jack how you doing what's been happening man i'm doing fine i'm doing fine i'm uh, i'm in the process of writing my finalizing my thesis So it's it's been a Jack, tough time. Jack, yeah. apart from thesis you really need to be focusing on how you're going to get out of this cult called Roman Catholicism. Why are you what? you know can a thinking man help some other thinking man? It depends. And you want to see that? You want to see that? Aru, you set yourself up there. You knew he was going to say that. <laughs> Everything depends now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, Jack. Hmm? It depends on it the depends on It depends on the circumstances of the sinking people of the sinking person now. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you <laughs> <laughs> you you're really love you Jack but Monday please yeah. and bring the evidence please or bring a plan yeah. okay okay well, this is serious job Jack you I can't believe how you how you thought oh, you're going to help oh, oh, Max <laughs> no I'm not saying I was going to help Max I was just going to ask Max a question based on something he said Not that I'm helping him. Mm. All right. Sure. Not to worry, I, I, Jack. Okay. Jack, um, just on, on that note, just, just just very quickly, what is your okay. what is your fe- thesis about? Just so we can um, still consider that even prayerfully for you. What what is happening? What's the thesis about? It's a uh, it's in landscape architecture. It's about uh, regenerative uh, design principles in urban parks and planning. 
in urban park planning and design based on ecological sensitivity assessment. <laughs> Jack, what did you just do? <laughs> hey, all right, I'll be praying for that. I'm not going <laughs> to be praying for, for yeah, you. He asked, for, he, asked for my he asked for my thesis. I was giving him the title. <laughs> you know, okay, Jack. Yeah. Did, you, did, you, did you do something like net, net, net uh -huh. or, or something, you know? Um, archaeological, biological, chemical, and, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. Sorry again. Uh, Jack, apologies. Of course, you are, you are a PhD. You, you're doing PhD, aren't you? No, masters, masters, masters. Oh, wow. Please repeat again. Maybe this time I'll I'll pay attention let, a little bit me, better. Let me break it down. It is about uh, designing of urban parks, but uh, since well, there I, is urban, urban parks, urban parks like uh, the park you guys urban, urban parks. Yes, urban parks. Oh, urban parks. Yeah. So there is, yeah. So there is a new uh, there is a new method of designing urban park based on the the principles of regenerative design so what do you I've, mean by I've, that what do you mean regenerating designs uh regenerative is like um you you create yeah you create an urban park where yeah, everything that exists in that urban there. park is able to <laughs> is able to produce like for example uh -huh. you design an urban park where food can come out from that park then you take uh, maybe uh, uh, flowers, everything that you can do. You can do a, a, a small agricultural market in the park where the produce of the park can help the community. And then the, oh, wow. the waste from, yes, for example, the waste from the community comes back into the park and acts like a fertilizer and all this stuff. And then the park also helps to reduce uh, urban heat and uh, helps in carbon sequestration. So it's a it's like a cycle where it repeats itself. That is, is regenerative. It goes and comes back and continues. Goes and mm. comes back and continues. Awesome. Fascinating. Yeah. 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 I'll pray yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I, I will said my 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 topic was alphabetical. <laughs> <laughs> alphabetical <laughs> order. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I I, so, I remember. So you know, in other uh, words, sorry. So in other words, you're trying to go back to the Garden of Eden. Yeah, something of that sort. Something of that sort. <laughs> okay. But well, but Arrow Arrow would say don't don't add any traditions onto it or any church father stuff that doesn't make any sense though. No, we have to yeah. church fathers. <laughs> yeah, poor guys. This is not the stream for that. Okay. Hey. I, I have <laughs> Ray, 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 pick us out. Ray, you know, Ray, pick us out in a couple of minutes. Uh, Ray, please, yeah. Go on. You know, no you know, you can, flowers around the edges, please. <laughs> you, can, you cannot ride without putting the church fathers inside now. So, all right, all right. Let's uh -huh. get back to Ray. Ray, go, keep, yeah. uh, go ahead. Keep on topic. Um, so, so one of the interesting things that uh, came out of this was that we we put the foundations out there at the beginning um, to all those that we're watching in this stream, um, where we understanding and and demonstrating our understanding of the foundational arguments that the atheist has, stroke agnostic, and within that argument is we were looking for a positive absolute case. Of where you can provide evidence there is not a god not just saying like richard dawkins tends to say um uh, on the basis of an argument that holds no actual weight to the evidence itself it's just more of a case of i i i believe in things from this perspective and from god's perspective i'm not really interested it's kind of where he's going with that because a lot of what has been argued against richard dawkins especially the god delusion goes into the specifics of why we believe what we believe and that is a regarding getting to the truth of the origin of what we believe is the creator and the creator has been very good at leaving his uh, uh imprint in this universe into this world to show he exists especially and foremostly and and to the greatest extent of all is in the evidence that we just mentioned earlier of his son christ jesus coming to the earth giving us the most powerful evidence of all uh regarding why we believe in god and where 
that true God is, and that's through the Son, Christ Jesus. One of the other things we would like to do is now start to really look at what would be something that we can discuss as a challenge to you atheists out there. Um, now, one thing we're going to come up with, nice and simple, we, we probably just kickstart this for now as maybe something that we can put as a challenge out there for next week, and that is what would be fundamentally uh, an explanation to the uniqueness of humankind. If we look at all creation, all life out there, how incredible and how likely is it through an atheistic view that we can have such a single unique species as a human race? I was specifically looking at one example that we could raise is, shall we say, the uh, invention of the watch. We would like to put that out as a case. Humans can create watches. Give me a reason why is it only humans can create watches? Why is it no other species out of all the millions of species that are out there cannot also make a watch? Because if you use the, the logic of the atheist position of just chemicals just coming together, multiplying natural processes, evolutionary successional process, whatever natural forms that you will describe it, it should mean by that logic, over all those billions of years, we should have some other examples of species that also can be as smart and as unique as humans. It, for example, why aren't we seeing any other animal wearing a watch made by one of their families, you know, uh, whether it's a whatever that particular species is? It's again pointing some incredibly you're something very unique about the human kind. And God as a creator, actually establishes and points to this humankind for very good reason. He's, God says that he made man in the image of God. He has placed a particular interest in humankind. His love and care is especially in humans, and the world that we see in it is built around the pleasure and benefit of humankind more than any ever creature why is that if we give an answer with the watch why is it that only humans can create the watch come up with the watch that would be a great challenge for me because it's like really trying to identify and home into why is it that we see that humans are so unique and so incredibly special over and above any other uh life form out there so that's the challenge i'm going to leave you with that as a thought provoker for next week, uh, we're coming up to 10 o'clock, unless I think anybody else is about to jump on or ask any questions, anyone on the panel, any comments uh, before we maybe uh, close early this this stream? Well, I think Matt missed out on one question. Where does planet Earth come from that he actually lives on? Because either it came by accident or is designed for people to live on. Mm. Now, to him, he would say that's uniquely all supernatural. Well, so what if it's supernatural? It's the truth. Actually, that's an excellent point because that's also unique. We don't have any other Earth like like what we have in all the millions of galaxies that we have done and have explored and identified and all the rest of it. Um, we're actually very unique. And it's this whole thing about unique has got to be there for a reason that makes sense and is logical um so that's a great point sorry i mean it, it's, it's very true in in what max was saying there were um i think i think i'd really like for him to listen carefully hear out yeah. spend some time on it ask any clarification questions get additional details and then respond which he didn't do because you know remember he said something like mm. where i think responding to you ray where he said something like um it is true that you know thousand years ago if someone was say, told that there was going to be cars mm. you wouldn't have believed but today of course he'd believe the uh problem i think he was trying to give an analogy mm. to essentially saying look there is no evidence for supernatural now 
but thousand years later they might be and in that case you know if i were if i were to live thousand years later i'd believe the problem is this unlike what he was describing the analogy he was describing no cars to a thousand years ago today there are cars unlike that the evidence for the supernatural in jesus christ was available 2000 years ago already so in other words it wasn't some sort of a technological advancement that no one believed in resurrection 2000 years ago suddenly today we managed to you know take a time machine and go there and say hey you know what this has to be resurrection and today we began advancing the side you see what i'm saying mm. this all the vocabulary needed to describe what happened 2000 years ago in the case of jesus christ was enough sufficient to describe what happened and we have records of that and that inevitably leads to the conclusion whether in 2000 years ago language or today's language whether in greek or hebrew or whatever language you speak that resurrection mm-hmm. happened so his analogy with the cars i don't know where he was picking that up from people yeah people make all sorts of you know this is this is um, this is why it real like uh, you know i i'm coming up to be 40 years of age max is a little bit younger so maybe through god's says you know um, mm. there is a little bit more time It'll to find you know? yeah, i hope so yeah. and it goes one of the other interesting things with this is if we just look at the universe and we look at it from the origin whatever the answer is in terms of where the origin of the universe came that is self is supernatural that has to be supernatural that can't be some basic we can't put everything into basic things that just are based on what we see regularly the, the origin of the uh, the earth the universe is a one time thing it ain't going to be repeated because all we've got is how it plays out we haven't got we can't go back in time we're caught in a kind of catch 22 from that perspective so we have to use a different form of logic to get to the conclusion the good thing is there are other options and i think one of the great things that i was trying to point out was use a different form of logic that really takes it logically sensibly step by step if you do like like a like that in a form of court case rather than having anyone take that logical step and jump some steps or create gaps in those steps and throw in any kind of curveball which means they're not being openly and honest all sorts of crazy interpretations can be made or conclusions can be drawn but if we take it step by step follow it all the way through even if we don't like the answer if that person at the end of the day was the murderer we have to convict him if we can see at the end of the day jesus was resurrected we just got to believe it because if we don't this is where it gets really interesting nothing that we can put as a case can be plausible because you're denying absolute evidence from its core what else is could be any a possible case that you're going to believe even people that have something standing in right in front of their face still won't believe and that's also what we're trying to say because they come up with another excuse it's just trying to find reasons and that's really what we were trying to recommend use openness logic you're about to say something there also i uh, just to piggyback i i think your point is really really valid uh, if this is the only conclusion you have to follow mm-hmm. where the conclusion leads you but can i please add one more thing sure the 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 problem with this disposition is actually even more serious right. and that is this according to his logic no one can convict the very first murderer in history mm-hmm. because murder never happened before that <laughs> no one can Good convict point. the yeah. very yeah. the no one can convict the very first robber in history because robbery never happened before that no one can uh, you know believe in the first ever moon landing mm. because moon landing never happened before so in other but, but the problem it doesn't stop there because the first murderer isn't convicted even the second murderer can't be convicted because there is no instance of understood murder before in other words mur- no murders would be convicted um, no robbery would be uh, no robber would be convicted nothing would be believed upon in other words it's a it's a very dangerous place of delusion where mm. what you were suggesting will lead you lead any human being to a place where 
we really can't believe in anything whether you are real or is ray speaking from there i don't know you know who knows sort of stuff it's um yeah i don't want to live in that delusion where i'll go mad you know <laughs> and i'm sure you know all of you would agree but brother sai you want to say something sorry ha huh. yeah I, I thought brother maybe he pressed on uh, exit uh, instead of unmute. unmute yeah i thought he wanted to say something sorry give a quick minute if he comes jumps on otherwise we we will wrap up um and we will look forward to some really good um discussions on our our challenge about the watch let's see if people can answer that next time around we'll just give sai one more minute in case yeah he's back i i really while we when sai, sai comes back this is why i'm really really keen for people like us through god's grace to really be in engaging with uh, richard dawkins i'm sure you know of course john, john lennox and uh, so on have done but i'd really like to bring in some speakers corner training into the conversation and um yeah get some conclusion out sorry uh, apologies uh, brother sai i'm assuming you left the stream instead of uh, clicking on unmute we can't no, leave no, a great crazy <laughs> comment of size so over to you say <laughs> i just got kicked out accidentally by the vagaries of technology but uh, thanks guys and uh, uh, i'm in iron today so i'll be back tomorrow and appreciate uh, the good work you guys are doing just keep it up and uh, may the maxes have knowledge about the truth instead of pandering to philosophy thank mm -hmm. you god bless Uh, God bless, Sai. Thank you. I, I just wanted to say something from um, an actual debate that I had oh, yes, with uh, an atheist on on another channel uh, on on a platform in the US, hmm. and um, both of us. Well, he he was in the Caribbean. I can't remember what island. My dad's from the Caribbean, and mum uh, and family there relatively from Jamaica, and he is a skeptic he relies on naturalism empiricism he has a scientific background and very similarly to to uh, max actually he made a case that he once tried what we called it the traditional a african spiritual beliefs uh he tried obia uh, which is, is is part of the african spiritual beliefs went through a particular ritual and said it never worked for him so not just on that basis but from the basis of however else he tends to make evaluations he is dismissed uh you know all so-called uh, possibilities for for supernaturalism the problem for him is i was arguing off of the reverse of that for evidence evidence through my uncle mm. who was a practitioner of obia rituals that he did even to dispel a, a demonic spirit now when i brought that argument to him plus the fact that there are multiple cultures regardless of whether sometimes people fabricate i mean you know as as ara will always testify he's from tamil nadu and people will come up with all sorts of fanciful things you've got hinduism um you do have some people that are from very poor backgrounds where a lot of stuff goes goes wrong but as you were saying ray to try to get to the point of omniscience and mm -hmm. to dismiss everything that could be evidence evidenced is impossible for an atheist or an agnostic to do yeah. it's but it, it's impossible there is so much witness testimony that even if even if 99.9% of people had fabricated you only need the 1% to break through and shatter that myth and that, and that's not what what what, what we have now the bible gives testimony that there is that which is supernatural from god and is good and that which is not from god whether it be demons or so on and so forth but in the end what happened with this atheist that i was debating with all he could do was say well at the end of the day if the supernatural is there it might only be able to be referenced in terms of that particular individual's world view so he could not by his own merit once i i held his feet to the fire uh then turn around and say the the soup the supernatural does not exist 
Mm. And obviously it wasn't demonstrated or necessarily showcased tonight, but even without citing the resurrection, if you look at something like Isaiah chapter 53 and the great Isaiah scroll, they're dating this back hundreds of years before Jesus had even turned up on earth. And that, that would show as evidence, plus the other scriptures, which testify to Jesus. And the problem is, with the atheists or the agnostic, um, as Max was doing, sometimes they find themselves in a position where it's their questions or their objections, which is then tending to frame their perspective on how they look at things. And they want to meet God, not necessarily on God's terms, as Errol said, but on no, their own terms. No, exactly. And that is the problem. Yeah. And what, what also adds to that issue is usually most people's terms don't include all terms because they eliminate a number of terms based on their presuppositions or whatever it is they may have. And by eliminating certain options, it's a very dangerous route to take. If you wanted to, for example, know that there's a possibility of earning £10,000 by a minute's effort, and you didn't consider all 26 options and how you get that 10,000. You only looked at 12 of them and you've skipped the rest because you just, for whatever reason, didn't like the other 14. Turns out one in those other 14 was the answer. Uh, you want to make sure that you've eliminated every feasible option. The option that we're looking at is not some obscure option. It's an option that existed, you know, many thousands of years. It's been documented. You know, it's the, it's the widest, most greatest sold book in the world. There are, you know, over a billion plus million, uh, believers and, you know, two, three, who knows how many billions of people over all their years of history have been convinced it with an amazing stories and experiences and testimonies and all the rest of it. It's just so, so much that it cannot be ignored as an option. And that's something, therefore, has got to be a great starting point to explore. And that's what we're recommending everybody to do that's an atheist or someone on the fence that at the moment doesn't believe there is god let's be open use good logic you know we w welcome you to the streams and just to, to discuss those options we are more than happy to explain uh, the christian worldview and uh, we would like to look forward to those great healthy discussions thanks everyone for turning up tonight for all those in the panel Thank you so much for all your contributions. Really appreciate it. This, this, this whole stream is not as good and as effective as it is without the input of everybody. So really is a big thank you. And all those in the comments, thank you again for your support, your great loving comments and, and all the blessings you've offered and everything else, all the positiveness coming from you guys and comments that you've been faithful, continually following our streams. It's, you know, we are really proud of you for that. And we really hope it's been of benefit to you tonight as as all the other streams. So thank you again. And in that positive note, if somebody would like to close in prayer, we will we will wrap up tonight. Yeah, I'll go for it. Jeff, yeah, thanks, Darren. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you tonight, Father God. Just thanking you most of all, Lord, for your mercy, your wisdom, and your infinite love. Lord, we listen to the dialogue tonight, um, exchanging and interchanging between the panellists, ourselves, Lord, and also uh, Max, Lord. Lord, Max said he'd been a, in a place or a position before where he felt he'd been let down by another God, and is trying to slightly posit uh, what I feel is a bit of false equivocation. And has also raised objections which I guess for him at the moment might seem slightly tenable but when I guess the sort of intensity turns up he sort of uh, doubles down and can become a little bit condescending himself. Lord the Bible says that you look down um, so to speak metaphorically and you search the hearts of men to see if there's any that truly search and seek God. And Lord, the Bible says that those that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Lord, we do not set the parameters. We do not set the terms. 
And we come before you humbly tonight to acknowledge that. At the same time, we pray that even for Max, and if he's listening in the background or if he considers that, he will know that tonight. And he will know that you are not just a God who is mythological, who is remote, that didn't come here, that cannot empathize with us in our imperfections or our frailties. But neither, Lord, did you not come here to not be an atoning sacrifice for all men. Every man, Lord, pretty much, unless we're wiped off the face of the planet, must run the course of our life. Of course, it is by grace that we're saved and not by works, lest any man should boast. But Lord, that also means an endurance to the end. And it doesn't come, Lord, by being whimsical or saying, just because you're remote or I've not seen you, that I'll just dismiss you and get on with my life in my own way. It doesn't work like that. I've never known, Lord, for any uh, place of employment for me to go in there, accept the job offer, and then I submit to them my terms and, and conditions for working at that place of employment. It doesn't work like that. But at the same time, Lord, you're not a God that won't listen if somebody is sincere and genuine. So I pray that tonight, Max and any other atheist or anybody listening in, anybody that is not in the correct worldview will know and hear by your spirit tonight and will be drawn to you in spirit and in truth. We have one chance to get this life right. Lord, I don't know that I'll make tomorrow. None of us do. But what we do know is that we have one chance to have a go at this particular life, Lord. One chance to get it right. And if not, well, according to the word of God, there is failure and consequence that we all must face. So, Lord, I give that to you. I give, you know, uh, every single soul tonight that has listened to the show, Lord. And I, I pray that, that Max himself will go away, go away and read your word and believe on your word. I pray for everybody else tonight that has, has been listening in, Lord, whatever they're going through in terms of any difficulties, uh, any struggles, financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, for family, Lord, that they would abide in you so that they can also bear much fruit and you would help them to navigate, Father God, through their own journeys. We bless and lift up your name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen, brothers. Take care, everyone. Have a great evening. God bless. God yes. bless God all the things. and all the audience. Amen. Yeah. Good to catch up. Bye -bye. See you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Brother Ray, uh, the outro. Should we play the outro? Forget the... Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. You're able to run it. I'm not sure which way. Yeah, okay. No problem. I can do that, uh, Brother Ray. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.